In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hook up a iPhone to Apple CarPlay on a 2020 Dodge Ram pickup. Um, this will also work on many other Dodge vehicles, um, also other Jeep vehicles that have the same uh, infotainment system. Um, what you're going to do is use a genuine Apple cord. If you don't have a genuine Apple cord, uh, this one's a genuine Apple lightning cord. Um, you can find one in the description of this video um, and purchase it there. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to plug that in uh, to the vehicle. This is gonna be the most awesome thing you've ever seen. Super, super easy, easier than even hooking it up to Bluetooth. The phone is now connected. Um, I can make phone calls. I can use the hands uh, free buttons over here. If I wanna use Siri, I can use Siri. And it uses Siri. I can talk to Siri right now. And then she'll- sure I understand. <laughs> um, so using this button uh, allows me to use Siri. Give me directions to Wendy's. One possibility is Wendy's on S. MacArthur Boulevard. So it's auto. Know if I should call one of them or get directions for you. So if you get text messages, you can just talk to Siri. If you get uh, phone calls, you can answer those. Um, everything you can do on your phone, pretty much you can do um, in this integrated system. So if I wanted to go to Wendy's, I would just tap that. Um, if I look at the maps over here, it's also going to show me. Um, you know, where I'm at, where Wendy's is at, if I hit go, it's then gonna put turn by turn directions on my phone um, while it's giving me a map and directions on- Starting route to Wendy's. Proceed to the route, then turn right. On the vehicle here, so um, pretty neat system. Um, I listen to a lot of podcasts, so um, I use the podcast screen quite a bit. Um, if you click on podcast, this pulls up um, any application on your phone um, that works on the vehicle. Um, so if I wanted to go to podcast, um, this shows the podcast that I've been listening to. Um, to listen to this podcast, I just go to it and press play. Um, if I go back here, uh, if I wanna make a phone call, I just press that to make a phone call. Audiobooks, I can pull up my calendar, I can pull up messages, I can listen to music. I've got Pandora on there, um, really neat. Um, there's other additional apps and things that work with this system, um, but super easy to use. Um, one of my favorite functions on a vehicle, I don't think I can get by on a vehicle now uh, without Apple CarPlay. Um, so just really neat system, but I can pull up music and I can listen to music. I can, if I go back to maps, uh, the neat thing is whenever you plug in your phone, it automatically knows where um, where your vehicle is. Um, and so whenever you unplug from the vehicle, it will automatically note that that's where you parked your vehicle. Um, that's one of the neat features I love, um, especially if you're at a, an event or um, somewhere where you're having to park and walk, um, you won't lose your vehicle. It'll pin it um, on the map itself. Um, and then it'll automatically know, um, you know, based on the time of day, things like that, you know, if you're heading home um, or if you're heading to work and it'll give you an estimated time um, without even having to input uh, any of that. Um, there's just so many features and so many neat things. Um, again, it's super easy to use. Um, if you have any uses that you use it for that you think it's something that we should share, um, please let us know. Um, put it in the comment section. If it's a feature or function you would like to learn more about, let us know that as well. If you thought this video was helpful, please give it a like. Uh, consider subscribing to help us make more videos just like this. And thanks for watching.